Hi guys, here again to show you uh, pretty quickly how to change your uh, printer settings on the smaller Dell printers found in classrooms and offices all over campus. So the first thing that you want to do is go over to the Start menu, click on Start, and we'll go right back to where we were in the previous video to Devices and Printers. That brings up this window, and rather than choosing the main copier or room 305, which I know are the large copiers, um, I'm going to pick one um, that I know is a smaller uh, Dell printer. And same process, right click on that and open up Printing Preferences. And it brings up a menu that looks like this. Um, here, menu looks a little bit different, but it's basically the same functionality. Um, most of you probably have used printer settings set up. Um, you can one-sided and two-sided and two-sided short edge. You want to do long edge so that when you turn the page um, to the left, it'll be upright on the back side. If you do short edge, the, uh, you're going to turn the paper top to bottom and it's going to be right side up. So most of the time we want to do two-sided long edge. And you can see they illustrated the binding here. And then we're just going to click apply and OK. And that's how it's done. If uh, you want to add a printer, you are just going to go up here to this option, still in the same panel for um, devices and printers, and click Add a Printer. And then you're going to select a network printer, and it's going to bring up every printer that is on our network. Uh, these are the Luke is the upper school. You've got um, MS for middle school. The printer name is listed, but a lot of the times they have um, the, uh, the, the location of them as well. Uh, I'm just going to scroll down to room 309, so it's in the science wing. Uh, click Next, and um, that one was pretty easy. The driver's already there, so you successfully added room 309 on loop. I can set as the default printer. I can print a test page if I like. I'm just going to click Finish here, and then going through the same process as we did for the study hall printer, right-click, Printing Preferences, Two-Sided Long Edge, Apply, OK. Uh, just to show you what it looks like if you don't have duplex side avail available on your printer, um, we're going to go find one that doesn't have that option. And there's only, there's no way to know um, from your computer. Uh, if you have the printer in front of you, in the upper right hand corner of the front panel of the printer, there's a model number. And if it has a D in the model number, that means it can duplex print. Um, I know that they were having some trouble in fine arts the other day for double press sided printing. So I'm going to click on fine arts color and install that printer. And then right click on that, printing preferences. And see their menu looks different, uh, a little bit different. I'm just going to go to flip on long edge. Your first clue that it's not going to work is this little uh, caution sign here. But I'm going to go ahead and click that and this is the warning that comes up. Uh, the duplexer is not available so we can't double sided print on that. I'm just going to click OK here. If you have any questions please let me know. I hope this was helpful.